regarding the physics of acoustics. Above 80 to 180 decibels is noise pollution. You know, the instrumental music, especially the ones which you use, the electronic things and all, they start at the level of 60 and up to 80 decibel range. And vocal music, on the other hand, from range of 20 to 30. At 10 dB level, we have our breath sounds. The sound of our own breathing. That is, at the time of pranayama in the yoga, we have only that level. And below that is usually inaudible to human ear. The zero level is the silence. And the yogic nada level zone is at the zero level. Because of this, looking at the gradation of the decibel, among these, the, when you speak about music, human voice will be best for music therapy. That is because of the physics of acoustics only, not because of any other preference. If the instrumental music is being used, if you are using instrumental music, suppose somebody say, I like instrumental music. Okay. When you are using instrumental music, adhere to the levels below 60 and below 50 dB levels, if that is possible. You know, in a normal, if it is not an electronic instrument, it's ordinary, uh, you know, it's tough, you, you can bring that down, no? So, that range you can make. But if it is going above that, side effects can happen. So, eliminate the side effects if you are using instruments by controlling the level to below 60, below 50 decibel level. Then, about vocal music, music that is not needed. It will not go beyond 20, 30 level. Then, <clears throat> can music therapy be used in mainstream healthcare system? Reduction of stress and anxiety, effect on blood pressure, that is, you call this as the modifiable causes of coronary heart disease. This is a very major problem in health practice. This has been proved in many hospital situations and it has already been proved as a meta-science. So there is no question of saying that this is not effective. Experimented with patients having cancer therapy for reduction of pain, for acceptance of disease with a positive outlook, for reduction of stress in clients, in their relatives, reduction of stress and anxiety, even in normal and professional groups. That will increase your uh, better quality work environment or commandment and productivity. Now, if life is a suffering, survival is to adjust and cope with that stress. And success is to adapt effectively and creatively. Management of stress and stress-related disorders naturally are gaining importance in the present day world of personal as well as professional stress. Most effective tool for stress reduction music and arts, other arts also. The, I uh, uh, experimented with music, but the other arts also are useful, I have seen in some of the cases. The management of stress is derived from the Eastern practices of relaxation, visualization, yoga, meditation, Tai Chi, etc., etc., etc. by the Western researchers also. In a similar context, people do react differently and therefore the stress is different in different people, not all having the same type. Faced with this, they may be facing the same type of stress situations. Hence, the CORD social readjustment rating scale by Holmes and Rahe is being questioned. Psychoneuroimmunology studies are showing how the Eastern, philo Eastern philosophies <coughs> for stress-free healthy life were useful and scientific. The Alsainant lamb 
highlighted the distinction between western negative connotation of stress detrimental to health and eastern perspective where the stress is life's necessary challenge you have to face it with a positive outlook the different humanistic values the cultural values are inputs through which people view stress and react to stress now what are the cultural variations they are valued or they are identified along individualism versus collectivism cognitive versus emotionalism free will versus determinism materialism versus spiritualism like that so uh, the two ends of the spectrum spectrum you have to see in usa the most individualistic were man has concern for oneself and in china and india as the most collective with concern for the whole community the whole nation and specifically uh, anna van verse says is turned by, by the word is turned she means buddhist hindu and taoist she says by the term term is turned she means buddhist hindu and taoism confucianism system indian music is a holistic collective healing approach for well being of the entire creation not for one person or entire creation <coughs> that is the importance of this type of therapy hunger thirst external fears from dangers all are stress for any living boy being even a small uh, worm has that stress they either fight or think for finding out a solution to cope with it or to flee from it homeostasis is a three stage stress response demonstrated in general adaptation syndromes when the efforts to survive fail the system gives out an alarm resistant if exhausted they die and perish the cell also is like that you know our cells also are like that these are reflex actions humans have over the reflex actions the competence and behavioral ability to cope with the stress the primary appraisal the scanning of how harmful the challenge the threat or the stressor is the secondary appraisal is seeking possible solutions and how best to deal with the stress the dynamic process continues and the problems as well as the emotional focused form of coping and coping styles differ in different persons in def- different situations people are different everyone is different their mentality their ability to st- cope with stress are different then the diseases the situation maybe cancer a colonoscopy maybe a death of a spouse or any other disease all are different different situations how to assess each individual is therefore the challenge and what cannot generalize on biomedical model alone this is very important because this is a client oriented method you cannot generalize on your biomedical model alone one method is to write down in client's own words and from those individual reflections you assess as the part of a narrative medicine in which music musical life panorama mlp musical life panorama helps so it is a type of narrative medicine in which the musical life panorama of the client will help you these things these are the challenges that we have to take about in eastern philo- philosophies a dichotomic thinking paradoxical phenomena occur simultaneously which is the internal and external controls and is a multiple dimension of the one multiple ways of appraising coping with stress at the same time is po- possible for the whole system this obstacles in life are seen as ingredients for healthy development for learning from experience and life gives both personal and professional expertise and experience and you know the 
outcome naturally is a multifactorial thing. All the factors affect the outcome of the therapy and no single modality can boast that it is the sole guardian of health. This is very important. It is a, the, all these factors actually affect the outcome of therapy and no single modality, no single medical practice can boast that it is the sole guardian of the health of the society. A combination of therapies depending upon the individual's needs, that is the disease, including the personal choice of music, is the best. Music, life panorama, musical life panorama, help to find out these things. Of course, the medical doctor can say which of the or which organs are affected and which are the uh, plexuses or shat chakra related to these organs. Then the, the music therapist, the musician can select the suitable draga for that organ according to the doctor's advice. Then they can incorporate the other ragas as I said before, the dhinacharya, uh, rudhucharya, yoga charya along with the patient's liking, all these together can effect wonders. Our, our professional satisfaction will increase as well. From the point of view of doctors, the whole nation will become more uh, grateful to you. That's it actually. And the clients, nothing to say much about the client. They will be very happy that uh, uh, their problems are solved or even they can cope with the problems. You know? So basic therapy is not just a simple giving one drug one to this, as so many people are thinking about it. And it is neither uh, a drug. Music is not a drug. You cannot have a drug controller tell you which drug to use. Nothing can be done. <laughs> it has to be done with a uh, cooperative effort by the doctor and the musician. The musician is for giving the best music. The doctor is for diagnosing, finding out which system is affected. Then in combination, both of these people can work wonders. That is what the therapy is about.